<laughs> well guys, I'm an idiot. I missed the embargo on this one. I thought it was for Tuesday when a lot of the other SEMA stuff comes out. Regardless, I'm still gonna be at SEMA to show you guys this hands-on. However, the TRD Surf Concept Toyota 4Runner is here. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section. Clearly Toyota was successful at removing the roof on this 4Runner, really making it look like an old surf turbo from the first generation of 4Runners. We know we all really wanted this, especially based on the comments in my last video yesterday for you guys. You guys were really hoping that Toyota would do something like this when the sixth generation 4Runner came out. However, they didn't really do it, and now they're teasing us with this concept. But they also gave us a press release and their second video is out, which we will react to again at the end of this video. They put a long travel suspension system with some new billet aluminum components. Not only do we have the TRD upper control arms that we've seen on the new TRD Pro, but we also got some lower control arms that are billet aluminum. We got some trailing arms too. And in the back, which is actually a Tundra rear end, we have the track bar as well that is billet. This would be pretty cool if we are able to see this on some production models in the future. Maybe it'll be part of Toyota's packaging or something like that in future TRD models. Custom wheels on this, they are 17 by eight and a half. And yes, those are 37 inch tires. They are BFGs, so BFGs do run a little bit smaller. Just call them 36s BFG, but these are 37 inch BFG tires. So. Clearly you can stuff <laughs> 37s under the brand new sixth generation 4Runner, of course, if you put some nice long travel suspension on it. But keep in mind, I will be at SEMA, so I'm gonna get all up in this if I totally can, underneath of it, inside uh, it as well, seeing how a two-door 4Runner truly is because they were successful on that. The interior, they spruced it up a little bit with some blue accents. Definitely have that kind of wood look to it. Let me know what you guys think about it again down in the comment section, but it is to definitely pay homage to the first generation Toyota 4Runner and then also the Southern California surf scene. Tomorrow we will also have another SEMA based video as well because I know now embargo times when they're actually gonna launch, but let's take a look now at the video that Toyota released and get my reaction to it. So as usual, we gotta like the video and also comment. Today we're looking at cutting the roof off. A couple different steps to take. One is get all the wiring out of the way. We want to keep as much of the wiring as possible intact. And so when we do cut it, it just comes off freely. We had to kind of put some filler pieces in here in the doors because the doors are actually going to get welded shut. Once we make the cut, there's really no going back. For the most part, yeah, there's not much of an there's error no to be cutting. Back. So once we start cutting, it's home. I never thought I'd be hacking up a car to put it back together. It'll be interesting. It'll be a different build than I've ever done before. It's one of three that's currently in the United States. We get to hack it up. So I was right about that at the uh, last video. I said, I think that this is the one that was at the reveal, which it was. It was the Limited, and uh, all we had was the Trail Hunter and the TRD Pro. So obviously they must have gotten more uh, Forerunners since then. And if we do everything right, it's going to be the coolest build at the show. Some of the parts of the car hardened, so it takes a little longer to get through. So that was a pretty big day. Oh my gosh, coming off. I'm super happy with how they did the cuts. Came right off and four of us were able to lift it easily. I had friends who had forerunners. It was a real pain in the neck to take the top on and off. You also needed to take out 35 bolts. We're gonna have simple latches. You could have this roof off in less than five minutes. So we were originally gonna 3D print the whole top and then somewhere along the line that changed. And so now we're using some 3D printed parts but as well as the actual manufactured stamp top. Once the ball started rolling, it started making a lot more sense to go and, and use a 3D printer to print a majority of the parts to be able to uh, at least make the mating surfaces and different door panels and di different panels for this vehicle. That's crazy. So we've got multiple printers running here and over in PayPal. One of the awesome things about these printers is their speed combined with their quality. You know, you can have a fast printer that busts out something that you have to spend, you know, weeks doing body work on. Luckily, these should help us with some of that. Dang, so they 3D printed thicker fenders because this thing, obviously, like you guys already know, has 37 inch tires, long travel suspension. Man, it's so cool. 
Justin came up with the idea to put some tubing in it to keep everything straight. So that way there's one straight line that goes through the whole part. We were able to get the bottom all kind of linked Super together. It's kind of pinned in and glued together. That was kind of a big step was to get the lower mounts in and all that stuff squared away. And then that feeds the top mount, gives us somewhere to put those and we can assemble the top to the bottom. So that way, no matter how the bottom fits, it just looks normal again. The abs are gonna go together. The 3D printer is gonna be really busy. We're making all the bottoms, the flanges, a lot of the rails that go in and to hold the gaskets, the tops of the bed rails, which will look like a bed when That's the roof That's so is. cool The the brake light is there. Like Toyota went, and I haven't seen that part yet, or maybe paid attention to it in the, in the photos, but you know, if, if, if your top is off legally with DOT, you still have to have a brake light up top and they did so it. All of that is gonna be done 3D printed. We're gonna work with our partners, TRD, to develop a long travel suspension. All of that billet goodies. The plan is currently to have Fox coilover shocks, 37 inch BF Goodrich tires on it. Those alone will get you to 90% of the places you need to go maybe play around with a couple exhaust things and see what we can come up with and make that look a little zoomier. We're coming down to the end of the build and the last little bits is always just kind of really tedious. You know, each build, as you're building it, you kind of, you're almost too close to it and it takes a while. So when it goes to paint, you know. So I know that it's modern, but I kind of wish that they did some sort of like KC setup, like bigger lights or something on top. It's gone for three or four weeks. Then when it comes back, it has a new feel. And it so it's one of those things, when I see it again coming back from paint, I think I'll have a new appreciation for it. We don't want a wallflower at SEMA. We want something that's gonna pop out and actually reach into the audience and grab you and pull you over to look at it. So cool. And I didn't realize this in the photos either, but that's 3D printed. So that's actually something, looks like something's missing right here though in the lights. This thing is spectacular. I love it. I can't wait to see it with the roof suspended off the ground above it. I think people are going to go insane on this thing. Very, very cool. Pretty much, we already saw <laughs> all of that B-roll and stuff anyways. But guys, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I will uh, catch you all in the next one. And again, I will be at SEMA giving you guys on hands-on content of this 4Runner. All right, guys, catch you in the next one.